have come out to this like crazy dune area. We're gonna be doing seven creative gimbal shot ideas and we got some pretty wild ideas. We're gonna be shooting the buggy. We're gonna be doing some pretty crazy things. Today we are gonna be shooting on this, which is the new Zion Tech Crane M2S. This thing is like a tiny but super powerful gimbal. So you can see how small this is. It's like a little mobile phone gimbal, but I can put my full A7 III setup on here which is pretty wild. There is already a Crane M2, but this is like the more streamlined and budget friendly version, but you still have the super strong motor so you can fit like crazy big cameras on here. So check how crazy the setup is. Tiniest little gimbal and my full Sony a7 III with like a pretty big lens on it. We're gonna get some crazy shots. Hopefully, hopefully we don't destroy this setup. Hopefully we don't crash the buggy. I think we're gonna get some really good stuff. Going straight into it, shot one is gonna be this reveal shot where we pulled up from the ground. There was all these cool lines in the sand acting as leading lines. So I panned up to reveal the location and the scene to give the viewer an idea of where we actually are. Shot two is a follow shot of Jason walking up to the buggy, giving a bit of a storyline to our video rather than just starting it straight in the action. Now we've introduced a little bit of an intro and we basically just tracked him getting there as he sits down and then going to the close up of the helmet showing the eyes gives a bit of that intense feeling and gives the viewer a little bit of an idea who's actually riding this buggy and who's gonna be in the rest of this video. After showing the eyes, I kind of pulled behind the helmet because it's gonna transition into our next shot. Shot three is a continuous shot and I started it off dipped behind the black of the side of the buggy and pulling out that's gonna cut with our previous shot as we dipped behind the black helmet. Basically the idea for this one was we showed that close up of Jason turning the key, hitting the button to start the buggy and then moving that camera all the way around to show him pushing that gas pedal. As he hits that gas pedal, we're gonna cut into our next shot, which is actually gonna be the buggy riding away. We can introduce some speed ramps onto the shot to give it a cool effect and whip that camera around and it's gonna have a really nice feeling of that continuous shot showing all those different little details. Shot four is a close-up of the wheel to cut with the previous shot where Jason hit that gas pedal. Now we can show those wheels actually spinning off, the sand flying up and the buggy riding off into the distance. This starts the first part of the buggy actually moving and the more intense pocket of this little edit. Shot five, and this is where it really starts to get fun and interesting. We were getting a tracking shot of the buggy actually riding and because it would be impossible to run in this soft sand as fast as the buggy to keep up and get our shot, we had to use the motorbike. I got Hannah on the back of the motorbike and I was riding it and we could film off the side, staying nice and close to Jason and the buggy, really showing it going and introducing some of that speed and really showing how the buggy's riding along those dunes. This shot works out so well and the Zion Tech M2S kept really nice and stable even though the bike was so bumpy, hitting all of the little bumps along those dunes. We got a super smooth, beautiful shot of the buggy cruising along. <laughs> Shot six and the shot that I was by far the most excited about. This one's starting to get a little crazy. I had to hang on the side of the buggy like this, holding the gimbal, just looking at Jason's face. The idea was that this is gonna cut with our previous tracking shot, but it's a much more close up. And the only way to get this close was for me to actually be on that buggy and really getting that face and eye shot of Jason. As he starts turning and starting to drift, I am actually gonna jump off the buggy keeping that single smooth shot and then reveal the whole buggy and him starting to go into that drift around me. This was so fun to do and pretty crazy, but we kept it safe and I think the shot turned out amazing. It's not gonna be obvious to the viewer how we actually managed to pull this off because we almost seemed like we were in the buggy with him and then all of a sudden we just pulled back and revealed that whole buggy and showed that we weren't in the buggy. So I think this one worked out really nice and definitely my favorite shot out of these seven shots. 
For our seventh and final shot, we have Jason coming around, still doing that drift, but now we're on the outside of the circle, and basically we're gonna get him coming right past us, and the buggy was kicking up so much sand right at the camera, and I think that's the perfect opportunity for our last shot to end as that frame fills out in just sand. We can end it right there, and that gives a cool little ending feeling to our video. That is our seven shots that we need. They were so fun to shoot, and I just wanted to say that as much as it looked like we were doing crazy stuff, we're always keeping really safe. We're not putting ourselves in danger. So I saw a couple of you guys commenting that. Those are our seven shots. We put together a little edit, put them all nicely next to each other with some cool effects, some speed ramping, some music. So let's have a look and see what you guys think. That was the video. I hope you guys thought it was cool. It was really, really fun to shoot. We had an amazing time out here in the dunes. Shooting it on the M2S made it really nice and easy to like do some of those more crazy shots like standing on the edge of the buggy and then jumping off. If I had a huge gimbal, it would have been much harder. So having something this tiny and compact still with the proper camera on it unlocks like a whole lot of possibilities to shoot fun stuff. If you guys want to check anything more or get one of your own M2S gimbals, it's going to be linked in the top of the description. It's really affordable and still like crazy powerful. So it's a sick gimbal to check out. Other than that, I hope you guys thought this video was cool and we will see you in the next one. Bye.